Hello guys, today we are going to create fire variations. Let's dive into Houdini. Take a grid node. Increase the rows and columns to 100. Take a color node and make it black. Now take attribute paint and paint the patch shape. This will be our source shape. I randomly painted the surface. Now take an attribute noise. Change the attribute name data to float. In the range value, switch it to min slash max. Change the operation to multiply. Toggle off output raw value. In the element size reduce the value to 0.22. In the offset type this expression. Turn on animate noise. In the pulse duration set the value to 8.71. Take a scatter node. Turn off force total count and turn on density attribute. In the density attribute write CD. In the density scale increase to 20,000. Take an attribute delete and delete the color attribute. Take a pyro source node. Reduce the particle separation to 0.02. Instead of fuel change it to burn. Take an attribute noise and add some noise to the burn attribute.
Now take a volume rasterize attribute. In the attribute select burn and temperature. Reduce the voxel size to 0.05, particle scale to 1. From the coverage attribute remove density. Take a pyro solver. In the Add Vection Reflection switch it to Single Project. Increase the Temperature Diffusion by 0.1 and Cooling Rate to 0.75. Decrease the Reference Temperature to 2500. Scale down the Buoyancy to 0.25 because we don't want long height flame. Reduce the Flame Lifespan to 0.7. In the temperature, toggle on add temperature. In the shape tab, increase the dissipation amount to 0.4. Turn on disturbance and increase it to 25. Turn on shredding and increase it to 6. Turn on turbulence and increase it to 2. In the dissipation tab turn on control field. In the Disturbance tab increase the cutoff to 0.4 and turn on Control Field. For Control Field, we are going to use a Temperature Field. In the Control Range set Minimum Range to 0.1. Go to the Shredding tab. In the Shredding field, we are going to use Temperature. Reduce the base block size to 0.1. Go to the Turbulence tab. Increase the grain amount to 0.75 and pulse amount to 0.2. Increase the level to 3. In the control range, set the maximum value to 0.1. In the Advanced tab set the maximum substeps to 2. In the Sourcing tab set the Temperature Scale to 2. Let's preview this. Let's add some micro solvers. Take a gas vortex confinement. Take a gas vortex boost and set the swirl size to 0.5. Now add gas turbulence. Set the scale size to 1 and swirl size to 2.5. Decrease the pulse length to 
Now increase the voxel size to For different types of variations. Just paint the source randomly in the attribute paint node and play with turbulence value a bit. you will get a different kinds of looks. Using this you can make so many fire patches and place them in your scene to give it a more interesting look. Thank you guys for watching, see you in the next tutorial. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Share it with our friends and help me to reach 750 subscribers.